going to be talking about a problem called cap stick this morning. Uh, cap stick is where the cliptera, which is the top of the flower, does not come off and expose the stigma to be pollinated. Uh, this happens quite a bit on several different female muscadine vines. It's worse on some varieties than others, and it's worse in some years than others. But the problem is, is when these cliptera do not come off the top, it doesn't expose the stigma to receive the pollen, and then the flower cannot be pollinated and therefore you can't set a berry. So you can see this cluster is a little bit past bloom. You can see all these with the brown, that's where the calyptra dried onto the flower and did not come off. And then you can see the top here is one berry where the, the calyptra did come off, it was able to be pollinated and then set a fruit. You can see this cluster too. A lot of the, the brown berries there are where the clipter did not come off to get pollinated. Uh, some varieties are really pretty bad about it. You can see as you go along to these other clusters, you can see other places where the, the, the calves didn't come off and get pollinated. We don't really know why, research-wise, uh, we see it more uh, at some times than in others. Uh, my general feeling is that we see it more uh, in a hot dry spring than we do after we get rain. Earlier this spring it was very warm and dry and I was seeing quite a bit of it. Lately I've not seen as much now that we've had a lot of rain. Here's an example as you can see on this cluster down here with the cliptera there on the bottom it just popped off. So when they're bright and green like that it upsize and fall off uh, that's what you're looking for. Uh, if they turn tan and brown, uh, like this cluster here, uh, that's what you don't want to see, and that's where they've died before they've come off, and so it can't be pollinated. So again, if you see people talking about capstick, that's what they're referring to. It's generally only a problem in the female muscadines, uh, the perfect flowered cultivars, the anthers are much longer and they tend to swell up and push that cap off. And so you very seldom have a, a cap stick problem on the perfect flowered. And then even if it does stick on there, they, they have the pollen because they have, they're producing their own pollen. A lot of times that pollen can stay underneath the cap and get pollination anyway. And so in general, cap stick is not an issue with the perfect flowered varieties. And this is one of the reasons why uh, the female varieties are much more variable and lower in yield than are the perfect flowered varieties.